Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This episode, I'm going to be hinging the front clip. And in order to do that, we're gonna put two hinges on the bottom here and use a aluminum standoff here and here with a plate welded to the top of it. And that way the whole thing hinges forward. If I put the hinges up higher, it would actually make contact with the wheels on the outsides because we're gonna move the hinge point up forward and down, it's gonna pivot away from the wheels, so it's gonna make good clearance. So, <clears throat> without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So right across the front here, sorry that was loud. Right across the front here, we have the edges. So I want to do this quarter inch plate right here. And that way it provides enough bolting surface to the bottom of this for a good hinge point. And then we'll do, we'll tack our brackets in here and drop it down. I'm gonna go quarter inch in and quarter inch out. I'm gonna cut this guy down to length and then drill it through and put some fastener uh, retainers in here uh, and then fill this forward portion with epoxy. That way it's nice and stiff on the front side. So epoxy and fiberglass. While we still have this plate on here, I took this off, brought it over here. We're gonna pop this in. So I'm just gonna take, mix up some epoxy and just keep jamming fiberglass cloth in there until it's completely packed from about here to here. So three inches out from where the plate's at, just to keep it nice and stiff across the front lip. Might even go further than that, we'll see. So I'm gonna mix up some epoxy and just start doing it. This has cured up overnight. It's not full 24 hours, but it's good enough to keep working with it. So I'm gonna throw this back on the car 
and then we can take the plate and start welding on the drop links. All right, so I have this inch and a half square bar or square tube, I guess. And this is gonna go right here. Quarter inch out. I'm gonna use this stainless hinge. We're gonna replace the pin with a quick disconnect pin. And then grind down these welds so they're nice and flush. So this is gonna go pretty much like this. So one thing we can obviously tell right now is I need to cut this at an angle. And then I'll go ahead and do that for two pieces of this. And then after it's cut down, we'll take and tap weld the two bits. This is 0.37 and these two together are 0.37. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this up here. This way it's off the welds. Use this as a spacer. And this guy goes right here. And let's align it. On the back side here, I'm gonna take this guy. The inside lines up with the inside of that line. So we're gonna use that as the marker point. And then I'm using this to extend out towards the bottom. And then just like that, boom. So I'll drill these out. We'll use M6 for the rib nuts. So I'll drill these out, use M6 as the rib nuts. And then over on this side right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and weld it directly to this. So 
So we're gonna weld straight through the holes. And then that way that the hinge is permanently on there. And then when we get replace this with the quick disconnect pin, it will keep everything in place. These are not the right ones for these because we what we really need is uh, countersunk. But for now, they'll do just fine, so we can get everything situated. Look at that. Look at that. All right. Boom. Just like that. All right. Now we'll put it up there and weld this guy in place. Backside here, it is hinged, so it's actually sitting here instead of falling flat on its face. Now, when it goes up, there is some flex across the backside, so I need to add like a rib to reinforce it all the way across so it maintains its shape. It's easy, a little bit of composite work, but take a look here. And then it'll go to right about here. We need to add some reinforcement, like I said. You can see it's kind of floppy, but that's gonna come on its own because we got a special surprise. This area right here, I had a comment. Why did I put this instead of just leaving it split or keeping it as one single piece all the way across. Um, well, because this is gonna be a big old scoop that's gonna take air from down here and bring it up and over. And that way we get more downforce on the front side. So what I'm going to do is there's this bar in the middle here and one draw up blank back. We're gonna cut that out. There's a second bar six inches behind it. So we're not really affecting the uh, rigidity of it. So we'll cut that out. We'll be able to put a scoop right on in here. It's gonna come up and over. All right, let's do a little bit of cutting. 